There are some main tests that you need to do when you're working on a compressor. One of the biggest things that I talk about in a lot of my different training programs is checking compressor efficiency. How do you do that? Well, you need a few things. You need, first of all, the documents from the manufacturer of that compressor. So if it is a Copeland, is it a Bitzer, it's a Box, a Frasco, a Carlisle, it doesn't matter. You, you need to get that information, like their performance chart or their curve charts. Then you need to plot that. So a lot of them have software today, so you need the model number. So you go in there and you need a few things. You need suction pressure, suction temperature, discharge pressure, discharge temperature, you need amps, you need volts. And if you have this information, you can get a good idea on what is going on with that compressor and you can plot it on their performance chart. Have you ever done this before? I'd love to hear down below in the comments if you've ever done this before because this is how you get better and this is how you understand if that compressor is functioning properly or not. My name is Troy Matthews, let's get a conversation going.